Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Let's Graphic Design. Today, we are going to be creating this nice, simple looking low poly biome here. Alam ko na it's been a month since my last video. Sobrang sikip ng schedule ko ngayon. So many things to pay attention to, but here you go. Tinry kong gumawa ng video uh, earlier this October. Pero I have to balance things out, you know, the learnings and the non-nerdy things. Okay, so before we start, just a little disclaimer, hindi to katulad ng previous tutorials ko na slow-paced yung presentation. Um, may, yung making ng scene ay medyo naka-timelapse format, pero may voiceover ako all throughout kasi i-explain ko pa rin naman yung process. So, hindi siya step-by-step -step tutorial, pero syempre, dun sa alam kong pwede pa rin makatulong. Okay? Just let me know in the comments if this type of video works for you, okay? Let's get to it. First, nag-add ako ng plane. Tapos, nag-add ako ng additional vertices or edges sa plane. Tapos, ginamit ko yun para makapag-deform yung plane. Kasi ito yung magiging pathway na gagawin natin mamaya. Then, sinelect ko yung ibang faces na gagamitin ko as the actual ground ng platform. Tapos, makikita nyo na sinabdivide ko to kasi plan akong lagyan sana ng particle system for the grass. Pero, di ko na tinuloy later on. Uh, pero ginamit ko pa rin to para makapaglagay ako ng elevated ground. Which is also possible without having to subdivide it. So I grab the edges, tas in-extrude ko pa baba to create this nice looking platform. Ito kasing art style na to, eh, magandang gawin kapag low poly yung gagawin. Makikita yung pagka diorama look ng scene since low poly lang naman. And there's no need to make it look really realistic. Uh, in this case in particular. So, pagkatapos ko i-model yung platform natin, I moved on to modeling the elements na ilalagay ko. And, sinimulan ko dito sa wooden signage. Um, basically, nag-add lang ako ng loop cuts by pressing Ctrl R para makapag-edit ng mesh with more freedom. Next, I modeled the tree. I started it off with a single vert tas in ko lang yun to create the shape of a tree. Then, nun nakuha ko na yung shape ng puno, gumamit ako ng skin modifier. Tapos, nagpunta ako sa edit mode, then select all. Tapos, in scale ko using control A instead of S. Okay? And then, naglagay ako ng subdivision surface modifier para mas smoothen out. Ginamit ako rin to ng decimate modifier. What this does is, binabawasan niya yung number of faces ng selected object creating these visible faces. Again, since low poly lang itong ginagawa natin, this is alright. For the leaves, ginabitan ko ng particle system para hindi na ako magduplicate ng sobrang daming leaves. Kanilikot ko lang yung settings ng particles tab para makuha yung preferred look ng leaf particle natin. After that, tinuplicate ko lang yung sphere na nilagyan ko ng particle. Next is rocks. Dito naman, minano-mano ko lang yung paglalagay ng rock sa platform. Kasi sa setup na pinlano ko, di ko talaga balak lagyan ng napakaraming bato. Same din sa grass. Trip ko na konting grass lang yung nakalitaw in this particular scene. Since, uh, lalagyan ko ng texture yung ground. So, hopefully, that would do the trick. And then, ginambitan ko rin ng UV sphere yung pathway to make a rocky sort of path. Just make sure na kapag may mga ganitong instances, Kahit na low poly yung ginagawa nyo, maganda pa rin yung may random na sa elements. Rotate elements, scale them differently. Siguro may ibang pahaba, yung iba maliit, yung iba malaki, basta may variety. Tapos nagmodel ako ng stone bench just to add a little bit more element to the scene. And then itong wooden plank na nakalagay lang basta-basta. After modeling, I proceeded to texturing. Una, nilagyan ko ng ground texture yung ground natin. And then, everything else na natitira, kulay lang yung nilagay ko sa kanila with 100% um, roughness. Kasi, trip ko yung ganitong uh, material kapag ganitong scene yung ginagawa ko. Unless too big. Pagtapos ng texturing, naglagay lang ako ng malaking plane sa baba ng platform. Tapos, nilagyan ko ng kulay na tingin ko nagko-complement sa kulay ng biome natin. Tapos sa lighting, gumamit ako ng HDRI. Not sure if it really helped with the lighting ng low poly, but it looks like it. Tapos sa point lamps, pinosition ko lang para makagawa ng konting gradient look sa background. 
And that's basically it. I did a little modification after noticing that there is way too little grass elements and ang awkward tignan kaya dinagdagan ko na kahit pa paano sa platform. And that's it for this video. I hope you learned something or enjoyed the making of this simple low poly biome scene at least. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. And let me know if you find this setup helpful, effective or not. The comments are open for any kinds of suggestions and I'll be reading all of them. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one. Peace!